Don 50 goals for Ertie Bournemouth. We're going to look over some of your best strikes in a moment, but how proud are you before we start to reach that milestone? No, so happy. Um, obviously, that was um, my aim when I came here to, to score as many goals as possible. And um, yeah, take the 50 mark is, is really good and, and hopefully I can get another 50. Well, we're going to start off with that goal against Luton. I'm going to give you this. And we're going to talk through right back from where it began, that goal against Luton. What were your memories before this game? Because obviously, you know, I think we're in a, a bit of a tough run at the time this game came up yeah. in the cup and then, you know, that ball falls so nicely to you there. Nah, yeah, I think, um, I'm pretty sure if I remember this game, I had a goal disallowed. I think um, it was just when VAR maybe just came in or something and I remember I scored and it was actually offside. So I was, I was a bit gutted really, but then, um, yeah, I think, and this one, even when the ball came into me, I kind of like, it didn't quite come and I was like, ah, oh, but then it, I looked up and it just fell to me again. So, yeah, it was, it was a bit of relief, obviously, because my last goal got disallowed and, and I was waiting a, uh, a while for my first goal as well. So um, to finally get it was, was an amazing feeling. I was going to say, you're right, you did get a goal disallowed in that game for you. You know, how mentally difficult was it? You'd waited so long for that first goal and then it finally came and then the AR had chalked it off. Yes. It's not easy, I think, um, especially as we're not used to VAR as well, like the goal got given, then like I thought I scored, celebrated everything and then got taken back and then it got disallowed, so it was a bit heartbreaking, but um, yeah, thankfully I got it um, not long after. We're going to skip forward six months, this game against Leicester, how weird was it at the time, obviously this game came behind closed doors, it was in Project Restart, it was something new for all of us, what was it like as a player? Um, yeah, it was another difficult period. Um, I think, especially with all the, the stuff going on in the world, it was outside football was, was really difficult as well. And um, obviously the position that we was in wasn't easy. So, um, but yeah, to come back, uh, I think everyone was happy to get back playing football. And um, yeah, it wasn't an easy period, but um, yeah, I think this goal was, um, yeah, quite an important one at that time, so. Yeah, I think you scored two that day. This was the first one, it took it to 2-1 on the day we'd fallen behind and then that one goes in and I think there was a bit of controversy afterwards with a, a red card for Leicester as well which yeah, see, perhaps um, take it, takes away from the celebrations. Yeah you can see my face I was a bit shocked because I heard the whistle and obviously I didn't know if it was my goal being disallowed for, for some some reason but um, thankfully it was yeah that, that bit that went on in the goal and they ended up getting a red card which probably helped us as well but um, yeah it's, this goal was, was such a big goal for, for me and the team, so... Was there any uh, any thoughts in your head about squaring it there? Because you had a couple of options on it. <laughs> um, not really. I think once I got into the box, I didn't see any like clear options. I thought, I'm just going to go for it here. And um, yeah, it's a nice goal. Striker's instinct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another big game, Reading, here behind closed doors. Again, it was a game that we'd fallen behind in. And we show great character to come back, especially there. Look at that determination to win mm. that goal back. Yeah, for sure. I think even when the fans weren't there, it was it was quite difficult. It was celebrating your goals it wasn't the same either. But um, yeah, this goal, um, I think I remember just pressing the keeper. I like to always press and work hard. And um, I think the keeper came out and just while I tried my luck, I pressed and and yeah, I managed to get the ball back. A bit of a tussle, but. Uh, yeah, I eventually managed to get it out of my feet and yeah, it was a nice strike. That was quite late on as well, because I think Lewis Cook had just put us 3-2 ahead and I think we were probably just trying to see out the win and then, you know, a goal like that comes and sort of gives us three points. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, it was a nice goal. Now, this is the first one that we're going to show you against Huddersfield. You quite like scoring against Huddersfield, <laughs> yeah, don't you? There's do. been a few. <laughs> just yeah, talk us through this one here. This one was... um. Yeah, I haven't really scored too many outside of the box, but um, this one was, was a really good strike, I think. I don't know who passed into me. I think it might have been Ben. Yeah, Ben played the ball into me and yeah, I just took the touch, swiveled and saw the defenders weren't coming to me. So probably would have got a from from Brooksy if I didn't score. But um, yeah, it was, it was a fantastic finish. When you hit it, did you know it was going in? Because sometimes, you know, especially talking to Phil after the weekend, he scored that brilliant goal against Forest, and he said, as soon as I hit it, I yeah. knew it was going in. I think once once you know you've got that right connection and the pace, you know the keeper's not going to get there. I think it was, well, it was right in the corner as well. So, um, yeah, I can't say, like I said, I can't say I scored too many outside of the box, but that was, that was definitely one I'll cherish. Pick that one, one goal of the month as well. How nice is that for you as a player, you know, when you get 
rewarded with, with an accolade like that. Yeah, especially as a striker, I think um, probably better than uh, a lot of the other positions because that's, that's obviously your forte. But um, yeah, to, to win goal of the month is um, it's always a nice, nice thing to win. This was a, a brilliant game. I think 4-1 win for us and we were on such a good run at the time. I think we were in the middle of going you know, seven unbeaten at yeah. such a crucial time in the season. Just tell us about your goal here. It was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I think this game, I remember we were just playing so well, um, always linking up between us. And uh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, we did win like six or something on the, on the bounce this game. So um, it was on the charge for, for the promotion spot. So um, yeah, it was another big game. And uh, yeah, I think we all, we all stepped up to play this game and nice link up with Phil, which um, I think me and Phil have got a good, good link up the last few seasons. And um, yeah, that was another nice, Nice combination there. Just tell us about the celebration before we move on. Was it a, a special moment? Um, yeah, it was uh, my nephew. Um, I think he probably got born that week. So um, yeah, I dedicated that one to him. Now we're jumping into last season here. Again, another really tight game. I think this game, this goal, sorry, came within the last 10 minutes of the game. And, you know, we've been working so hard. And then again, popping up with that goal late on to, to give us the three points. I think we're wanting in the end. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was my, my first goal of the season. Um, didn't really get too many chances in the game. It was a bit, a bit of a tight game, nil-nil. And I um, was just waiting for that one moment. And um wasn't uh, the cleanest goal. It was just a ball over the top from Ben. But um, yeah, I chased it down and managed to get it under control. And it was, it was a nice finish. It's a tight angle as well. Yeah, it was. <laughs> a lot of the boys were saying after, they didn't know how I squeezed it in. but. Um, yeah, to give to give us uh, the lead then was, was vital. And that ball again, it came over the top from Ben. When, you know, you're running onto it, you're thinking, right, I'm going to go for goal here, or you're sort of hoping because the angle's so tight, you know, someone might be running into the box and might be able to square it for someone. Um, or maybe again, striker's yeah, instinct. Yeah, striker's in instinct. I think you always try, think, can I get a shot off first before, unless it's obviously a clear, clear chance you can pass it. But um, yeah, when the ball went over the top, I just chased it down and... Yeah, when I got under control, it was just the only thing that was on my mind. Moving ahead to this Swansea game, a huge win, 4-0. And, you know, we're, we're flying at this stage of the season. Yeah, I actually remember this game. They started so fast. I think um, the first 10, 15 minutes, I was like, wow, like, we're hardly touching the ball. But then, um, yeah, after that, we just dominated, I think. What I was remember. it, 4? Yeah, 4-0. And I yeah. remember in the week, I think we just lost our first game of the season to Preston and I remember it being quite a big game at the time but you know we came out as you say they did start fast mm. we came out and, and scored four goals it was a great ball from Leaf there yeah no it was nice acrobatic finish as well it's a good connection yeah I didn't I was just running and I was, didn't even get a chance to look at the goal so yeah I think it was just strikers positioning there but yeah it was another another nice finish now this goal this must be up there with one of your favourite goals you've ever scored yeah for sure I never got bored of watching this one just as well because so many teams have replicated it, especially yeah. in the last few weeks. Yeah, now for sure. I think um, quite a few teams have, have scored from it now as well. So it's always nice to see. Well, I don't know if it's definitely from us, but I guess it is because since we did it, there's, there's been a lot of teams trying it. So um, yeah, just worked per to perfection that game and such a big game. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it was top of the table clash and everyone played their role literally to perfection. So It might seem a bit of a silly question, but did you expect it to sort of pay off like it did? Because I imagine you go through these things in training and think, okay, maybe we might have an opportunity. But if it had come off as well as it did, yeah. did that did that surprise you? Or, or um, maybe it was so well drilled that, that it didn't? A little bit, yeah, because literally there's what four or five people that are, are in involved and they all need to do it like to perfection for, for it to be, to, to get my chance. And um, yeah, I think just, all the sets, the timing of my run, the, the weight of pass from Phil just, was all just perfect. And like I said, in, in such a big game as well, it just made it a lot, a lot better as well. Score so early in the half as well. Yeah. Obviously, what a, a brilliant start it was to you know, try and hold on to. In the end, we, we got a draw, but at a really good point nonetheless. Yeah, no, for sure. I think um, especially scoring early in the second half, is, it's always something that that will benefit you. Obviously, we didn't quite get the win, but I think that goal definitely um, gave us a good platform to, to go on for the rest of the game. 
I've got to ask you before we move on. What was going through your head when you saw Kylian Mbappe and Lionel Messi sort of link up just as you've done? <laughs> no, it was a bit crazy really. I think um, I was just seeing like on TikTok there was a few teams trying. I see PSG try it, Madrid try it quite a few times. But um, yeah, that, that PSG one was, was really similar to ours. So um, yeah, that, that was nice to see. Again, we've got another one against Huddersfield. Again, this was a great win as well because they were, you know, right on the towers at the time of the game. Yeah, I remember that game. That was that was another huge one. I think, um, like you said, we was they was batting it out for the the top two spots as well. So um, for us to go there, especially at their ground as well, to to dominate the way we did was was great. And um, like I said, me and Phil got that that good understanding, and uh, he put me out nice here, but. It was a great, was it, was a, well. yeah, it was, was, it was a great finish. Right in the corner, just away from the keeper. But yeah, I like those those little improvised ones, especially those those flicky ones. And right in front of the away fans as well. Yeah, exactly. Got to go celebrate them with them, so it's another special one. Now this one's a little bit different because it was a penalty. But the reason this one's in there is obviously because of the moment and, and the timing of it. It was the 95th minute. We're a goal down here at home. You know, we're really going for promotion with as many points as we can. Mm. And I think you were the coolest man in the building because <laughs> I think everyone else was biting their nails. And then at the same time, I think there was a lot of controversy over it. I think Marco Silva ended up getting sent off or, yeah. or shown to the stands and you still had to take this penalty. Yeah, and no, I think um, the weight was probably the worst thing. Um, like you said, there was so much going on. I don't know what, how long it was from when the, the penalty got given to when I actually took it, but it was quite a while. So I just had to, to keep my head. Um, the boys were good as well. Um, just like protecting me from the, the other team, trying to, trying to put me off and, and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it was such a big moment. Um, how often do you work on penalties? Is it something that, that you practice a lot in training or, or here and there? Um, yeah, no, it is. Um, I think especially after I missed one last season, um, probably since then I've been practicing a lot more just to to keep on top of it. But um, yeah, something that, that's important in, well, this game proved it. Uh, you need to make sure that you give your, yourself the best chance to to score, especially in moments like this, because like we said, it was, was a massive point. How relieved were you when it hit back the net? Yes, <laughs> so happy. After that long wait and just seeing it hit the net, I was just, just so relieved, but um, yeah, it was a big moment. Right in the corner as well. Yeah. <laughs> you go and grab the ball quite quickly there, actually, considering it was the last minute. Did you I think know, you were just, not for a winner there? Like, yeah, like, the thing with me, I really like celebrating, like, unless it's a goal to put us in front. So um, even on the weekend, like, yeah. my goal was to equalise. I didn't want to, like, do too much because yeah. I wanted to, like, get the ball and, and try to get the winner. So it's just winning mentality, really. And then we're obviously going to end with this one, your 50th goal. What a, a big moment in the game it was. Yeah, I think um, credit to everyone this weekend uh, was an amazing comeback, um, especially against Forest as well. Two of us got, got promoted uh, last season, so it was a good game to, to just see where we're both at, really. And um, obviously they went 2-0 up. Uh, Half time, two 0 down, came out, um, and yeah, and the, the desire and character that, that everyone showed was amazing, and um, yeah, it was was wasn't a bad finish as well. <laughs> you gonna say what's going through your mind there, where that ball, ball's being headed back across from Lloyd? Yeah, um, I think we worked quite a bit on set plays, and uh, we knew that um, well, Tav's delivery was great, and, and Lloyd's uh, head back was great, and uh, it just fell in front of me, and when it came, uh, my eyes just lit up and. My only thought was to to try to get um yeah good contact and yeah it was a nice little overhead kick. Now you've hit your fifty goals for the club. Do you have any sort of targets perhaps for the the rest of the season or any other figures in mind that you want to try and hit here at Air Sport? Then? Um, not really. No, I just take it game by game, and obviously I want to score as many many goals as I can. So there's no limit on that. But um, yeah, hopefully try to hit the, the 100 mark, mark next. And just finally, how much are you enjoying being back in the Premier League and you know, being able to test yourself in this environment against some world-class defenders? Yeah, nah, um, it's the best feeling really. That's where 
wanted to play from young. I think um, a lot of players, especially if you grow up in, in England, that's, that's the, the biggest stage where where the best teams in the world are, the best players. So um, to be back here and and hopefully we can stay here and, and have a good uh, time here. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to it. Well, Don, thank you for joining us. It's been great looking back over some of your best goals and yeah, thanks for, for coming in and talking us through them. No worries, it's a pleasure.